Hey there everybody, I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you all had a really nice weekend out there, and hope your Monday got off to a good start. Mine's off to a really good start. Um, I'm out here in Uncle Jack's workshop right now, getting some tie-dye going today. Got to go down to the mail to the post office in a little bit and mail out my first sale. So, um, But anyhow, today I thought while I was just moving around in and out of the house, I would do what I eat in a day video. So. Guys, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate if you go down and hit that subscribe button now. And then be sure you click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. Yeah, you know, even though it's super hot out here, I'm under my carport and uh, it doesn't get all that bad. I mean, definitely not this time of day, but even in the heat of the day, under here is generally pretty cool. So I'm doing the usual thing. And actually this is, I've probably already had about one and a half of these doing my morning hydration, do it almost every day, almost every day, and when I don't, I can definitely feel it. Uh, I love my watermelon juice. Uh, I, listen, it is what it is. Yesterday I ate some. I get more questions, simple questions about simple watermelon juice than anything else. Um, I do eat it sometime. I like to drink it. I like to drink it. Eat it however you like it. You can give me a, a lecture on fiber and all that, but I'm quite sure I take in enough fiber in my diet. So most of the time, I simply put it in my in my Vitamix, I blend it up, and I strain it. And I, a lot of times, uh, the melon's already in the fridge. I keep the after I use some, I put it back in the fridge, and so I'm usually having cold watermelon juice most days. So anyhow, I'm going to get back to doing a little bit of tie-dye, uh, drink my watermelon juice, go mail out a package, and then we'll see what happens next. All right, time to eat again. I uh, went out and ran some errands. Now, ideally, it's about 10.25 right now. Ideally, I would have eaten, eaten my first meal a little bit earlier than this, but this isn't too late. I'd still be able to get everything in today. That's what happens in the summer, especially when I'm moving around. I have my watermelon juice. I'm satisfied for a few hours, and then the day just kind of gets away from me, and I'm like, okay, well, I'll eat this, and then by two, three o'clock in the afternoon, I don't have uh, nearly all the calories I need to get. So anyhow... On to the fruit portion of the day. Got still getting these really good Atafo mangoes at the um, little Asian market down in Pensacola, Florida. So I've got three mangoes and three bananas chopped up in here. And this is one of my favorite combinations on the planet. I make this all the time. I show this all the time on Instagram and I tell them I do it in many different forms. I like to eat it like this. I like to blend just, uh, you know, uh, room temperature, not frozen bananas and mangoes. I like to blend the mango, blend about three mangoes, um, and then you get a little bit of water content, and then just right out of the freezer, put some frozen bananas in there. Makes a nice, nice creamy drink. But uh, yeah, favorite combo here. So I'm going to go eat this, probably do some more tie-dye, and uh, we'll see what we're going to eat next. No real plan today. Okay, staying on track pretty good. It's about 12.30 now, and now we're moving into the green smoothie portion of the day. Now, I kind of lost count on bananas, but I know about how many. I think I've got about eight or nine, and I got more of this in the blender. So I've got about eight or nine bananas, kale, tablespoon of spirulina, a couple of tablespoons of uh, hemp seeds, and a little bit of cacao for flavor. Just blend it all together there. I blend. I don't put a whole. I don't put any more water than this necessary. I like it nice and thick. You know, before I was about to do this segment, it was just going through my head. I just get you know all these questions that are way over my head. You know, I just eat, um, and this is as pure as it gets. I think I should just start anytime I get a question and go watch uh, one of my what I eat in a day videos. This is simple. Like, well, how do I get through the morning? You see what I'm doing. I'm eating. I'm eating throughout the day. Maybe you agree, maybe you don't. But if you're asking me, you know, for advice, help, whatever, on, oh, how can I do this? I'm just eating. I keep myself fed throughout the day. There's no magic tricks. Once again, this is as pure as it can get right here when I do a What I Eat in a Day video. Um, and I mostly, for the most part, don't like plan them out and go, ooh, I'm going to try to have my perfect day so I can put them into a video. And you've, I've done them here in the States. I've done them down in Costa Rica at the beach. I've done them in Costa Rica in the mountains. 
So I've got a number of these what I can eat, what I eat in a day videos. Just go check them out and watch them. But uh, that's just how I do it. I eat fruits and vegetables. I try to plug in the holes as best I can. I try to get everything in. I supplement a little bit. But it's no rocket. It's not rocket science, and I don't have some great program or any, you know, step by step thing to do. I just eat. And, you know, I learn a little bit as I go and uh, I don't try to be perfect. I don't focus on be, being perfect. But anyhow, going to go enjoy this smoothie and uh, we'll see what we get into next. All right, let's see. It's about 2.45. Time to eat again. Been still running around all day. And I wanted something a little bit different today. I didn't make this just for the video. In fact, I didn't know I was going to do it. What I'm going to eat video today. And I was thinking, I'm going to make a salad or make something different. Um, thought I wanted to make some uh, tacos. I made some taco meat just a little while ago, but uh, didn't feel like making salsa. And then I remembered um, I've got a, well, I could have used that for the tacos, but then I was about to make mango red pepper dressing. And then I said, no, I've got an avocado in a bag over there. So I got my avocado out and it's just kind of a hodgepodge, but I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I've just got uh, some romaine lettuce in there. I've got some of that uh, cucumber, onion, tomato uh, mix that I like to keep in the refrigerator. I've got some marinated mushrooms in here. These marinated mushrooms are good and they've been soaking, well they've been in the refrigerator for about three days. What I do with these is I put them in the windowsill and, and when I say I marinate something, there's no set marinade. Just think whatever, put it in there. So I usually put a lemon in there, lemon, the juice of a lemon in there. A um, little bit of apple cider vinegar, just a little bit of Bragg's, uh, what else, what else? A little smoked paprika, maybe a little bit of uh, onion or garlic powder, and then what else, what else, what else? Oh, and a little bit of chili powder. And then I put it in the windowsill and let it just sit for the day mostly, or at least five or six hours, and then um, it's good so I've got some of that cucumber onion tomato mix and then I've got some of the onion I mean the the mushroom and there's also some onion chopped up in that and then like I say I had the avocado so I just made some guacamole and put on top of there so voila there you go just kind of a totally different thrown together dressing with some wet stuff on top but uh, it looks like it's gonna be pretty good and I will just save that taco meat and do something with that in the next couple of days or so. Oh, somebody will ask. That's super, super, super simple, too. I just get walnuts. I soak them in water for a little while. I drain the water off. I put it in my food processor. I put just a little bit of Bragg's in there. I put some uh, onion powder. I put some uh, garlic powder. I put some smoked paprika. I put a little bit of chili in there, chili powder in there, and I pulse it pulse it because you don't want it just to like turn it into you know a goo I mean just you know like a ball or where it's too small and you just kind of pulse it pulse it pulse it until you get kind of that ground beef like consistency but I'll have that tomorrow so I'm gonna enjoy this get a few more things done I'm gonna eat one more time I'm sure and uh, I will show you what I finished the day with all right, going to show you the last thing I'm going to eat today, but I'm not about to eat right now. I just finished that salad um, a few minutes ago, kind of got to doing stuff, took my time, ate a little bit here, walked around the house with it, took it to my computer, took it back and forth, and uh, yeah, it probably, I probably ate that over the course of 45 minutes or so. So made myself some ice cream for tonight, um, just some uh, chocolate chip, all it frozen bananas and cacao nibs. I always had somebody will ask me, what's the recipe? What's the recipe? But yeah, just frozen bananas and cacao nibs in the good old uh, trusty uh, Black & Decker food processor that's got a piece broken out of it. It's almost had that, it's almost been since I got this thing. I forgot what I did, if I dropped it or whatever, but uh, uh, probably about, I don't know, probably about six or seven uh, bananas in here maybe. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to put that back in the freezer and I don't know, have it tonight while I'm watching a little bit of TV, finishing up some things for the day. I'm going to go down to the park in about an hour. I usually go down to the park. That's like my little Zen thing almost every afternoon, usually about 5.30ish. I go down to the park and chill out for a little while, walk around, just get outside and... Um, but that's my day and like I say, that's pretty much it. now. Okay, I don't get, like I said, 
you need to watch, you probably need to watch more than one of my what I eat in a day videos because none of them are actually perfect. And uh, today, I don't know if I'm getting everything, if I'm getting all the calories I need to be getting, but I kind of have this other thing. I don't know if I've ever talked about this before. I ate really heavy yesterday, like Saturday, went and visited family and uh, was very underfed that day. I didn't eat near enough on Saturday. Yesterday, ate a lot. Today, moderate a little bit more, and then I just kind of have days like that. Like if I'll have if I have a real heavy day, tend to you know want to eat a lot today and eat. I'll lighten up a little bit, and I'm not talking about restricting or anything. I'm just talking about you know kind of going with the flow. One day you feel a little heavier, like eating a little heavier than others, but uh, that's basically how I do it there. And um, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Anyhow, if you like it, please give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.